Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk about Grasshopper, its interface and its potential application. Okay, before I begin, I would like to state that this demo that I'll be doing will be uh, a basic introduction to Grasshopper. And if you are already an existing user of this program, you might want to give this video a miss. Okay, let's start. Okay, what is a uh, Grasshopper? Grasshopper can be said to be the visual programming arm of Rhino. Basically, you want to use it when you are required to create uh, objects uh, that are parametrically associated. Okay. Additionally, Grasshopper is also good for the creation of a uh, complex uh, forms, surfaces, and patterns that would otherwise be very difficult to be created using uh, Rhino's uh, conventional surfacing tools and workflow. Okay, let me uh, fire up Grasshopper to give you an example. Okay, over here I have uh, created a Grasshopper definition or, or script. Okay, and the result is being displayed on uh, Rhino's um, 3D viewport. Okay, by changing or modifying the, the, the inputs, in this case the numerical inputs, I can modify the, the form as you can see over here. Okay, can modify the form. And let's say uh, when I'm satisfied with the result that has been shown, I can proceed to convert it into a Rhino object by simply uh, baking the corresponding uh, component node. In this case, this, this final node here. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, right mouse click and go to bake to convert the grasshopper object into is a rhino equivalent okay yeah you can see over here it's been converted into a rhino object and as you can see for yourself uh, this form is uh, rather complex and would otherwise be very difficult to create using a uh, rhino's uh, conventional surfacing tools okay yeah so this is where uh, Grasshopper excel. Okay, this is the situation where uh, Grasshopper can be put to good use. Okay. Okay. So how do you uh, start up uh, Grasshopper? Okay. To fire out Grasshopper, you simply click on this uh, launch Grasshopper icon, uh, which is uh, available on uh, Rhino six. Or higher so click on this and it will open up the grasshoppers uh, environment okay let's uh, talk about this uh, grasshoppers uh, environment okay the grasshopper environment basically uh, consists uh, of this top portion here which houses all the component within our uh, panels okay so uh, these are like the various panels that uh, houses the, the com com components within categories and this area here uh, is the canvas. The canvas uh, is um, where you do your actual script or definition creations by dragging the components onto the canvas and connecting them in uh, meaningful ways in order to create uh, our result. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's talk about a component. Okay, basically a component is a, a, a node, okay, that you can connect with other nodes to create some kind of a, of a result, okay. And there are two ways to put components onto the canvas, okay, I'm going to show you. The first way is to go to the this uh, panel over here and simply uh, drag the component onto the canvas. 
okay that's one way the other way is to simply uh, double click on the canvas itself and type the the name of the com component and select it from the generated list okay so yeah so let's say I, this is a component okay okay let's um, talk about the anatomy of a of a node okay okay a component node will consist of uh, the input region and the out output region okay in the in input area uh, this is where uh, there are sockets for the receiving of uh, inputs okay then on the output area as the name implied is uh, where the result has been uh, cal calculated and churned out so this is the area where the results are being outputted okay yep so let me uh, show you an example of uh, the note okay let's say I want to um, create a uh, a point okay so I can go to say a vector point and construct point to create um, a point okay you can see over here as this construct point okay so uh, in using this method we can actually uh, create um, grasshopper objects uh, from scratch okay so let's say uh, i decided that i want to change some of the uh, x and y coordinate values i can uh, double click and type in some numerical values okay you can press and hold the alt key to duplicate a uh, component okay so press and hold the alt key yep so i could connect this and connect this and now you can see that uh, the x and y value uh, has been uh, given new values are uh, 9 and 9 correspondingly okay and by modifying the value on the slider I'm able to get uh, different results okay yep okay so this is one way of uh, creating uh, some uh, of objects okay on grasshopper <clears throat> okay another way of uh, creating for example let's say a point is actually to uh, get it from Rhino itself. Okay, for example, uh, I'm going to create a point object on uh, Rhino's 3D environment. Okay, and then I want to associate this uh, point object to uh, Grasshopper. Okay, so you can do that by going to param. Okay, go to point and Okay, I have placed a point point component which I want to use for the association of uh, it uh, to this point. So to do that, I simply uh, right mouse click over the component and go to set one point and then uh, select the object that you want to associate with. Okay, so by doing that, I have associated uh, this uh, point on Rhino onto this uh, grasshopper point node okay yep okay next i want to uh, talk about um how to connect the sockets are uh, via wires okay so um let me just uh put a let's say a loft okay yeah Okay, and you can see over here, uh, there is a, this uh, requirement to for me to in, input curves. Okay, so uh, let me create some kind of curves on the Rhino's environment. Okay, so I'm going to create one curve. Okay, I'm going to create another one. Okay, as you can see now, I have uh, two, two curves, okay? And I want to have 
curve are associated singly to curve nodes okay on grasshopper so i'm going to put one here i'm going to make another one okay so uh, right click uh, set one curve so i associate this sorry uh, right click set one curve i'm going to associate this to this and then I do the same for the other one so set one curve to associate this okay so you can see that uh each curve on rhino has been associated with uh sing singly to a specific curve node on grasshopper okay so i'm going to use these to like uh create a loft okay so i can uh, simply you know, drag this over here okay as you may know, uh, I will need at least uh, two curves to create this lock. Okay, let me just drag this over. And you notice that when I connect uh, the second wire connection to this uh, input, the first connection has been disconnected. So, um, okay, by the way, if you want to uh, disconnect, you can simply right, right click and select disconnect to disconnect. Okay, in order to connect uh, multiple uh, connection onto a single socket okay you have to press and hold the shift key so now i'm pressing and holding the shift key and then uh, plug it into the same socket okay so by pressing and holding the shift key you are able to input uh, multiple uh, connections into a single uh, input socket okay yeah as you can see over here Okay, another thing I want to talk about um, is um, the relay, uh, wire, wire relay. Okay, so say for example, um, I can double click on the existing wire, anywhere on the existing wire to create uh, what you call this uh, wire relay. Okay, what the wire relay does is that it acts as an intermediate uh, point for the connection to other other uh, components okay for example let's say i want to connect uh, the curve to this uh, curve input of the pipe okay i can drag the wire relay and connect it okay um, you can also connect it straight from the curve component to this socket as well okay but the beauty of the wire relay is that uh, it allows for example uh, objects that are very far away to be connected okay so for example let's say i'm going to put a wire relay here and if you, you have a, like a canvas with lots of uh, nodes um, sometimes it's very hard to connect uh, one node to another node that is uh, spanning a great distance for example let's say i want to connect from here to here is a uh, kind of kind of difficult and the wire relay sort of uh, serve as a intermediate connecting point for a easier uh, connection that allows for a more elegant uh, structure for our definition as well okay And the wire relay can be renamed as well simply by right clicking and give it a name okay let's say i said relay one okay yeah so you can rename it for easy uh identification okay okay i think i've come to the end of uh, this uh demo hope that has been useful to you see you around bye